paz y buen viaje y kaita lang nagniningning sa ming paglalakbay samahan mo palagi ang iyong mga anak sa buhay na aming tinata Nuestra Señora de la Paz y buen viaje, kagalingan na yung ihatid sa mga may karamdaman. Nawa ang salot na pandemya ay maparang, pakinggan mo kami. Inang mahal, Nuestra Señora de la Paz y buen viaje, protect us from all dangers, so oh, sweet Mother Mary, as we call on your name each day, lend us your hand. Bring us safely to our God's own land. Nuestra Señora de la Paz y buen viaje. In trials never cease to render us the strength we need. Instill in us so Mother, the faith and hope you've shown, the reign of love perfected in God's home. Nuestra Señora de la Paz y buen viaje, enséñanos a dar paz a los demás. Cura las heridas de nuestra humanidad Aviva nuestra santidad Nuestra Señora de la Paz y buen viaje vida muéstranos a Jesús el dador de vida disfrutemos de su compañía muéstranos a Jesús el dador de vida Disfrutemos de su compañía, Nuestra Señora de la Paz y Buen Viaje. Opening prayer for all days. Sovereign Queen of heaven and earth, as your intercession is so powerful with Christ our Savior, intercede for us with the divine majesty that we may obtain the grace we desire in this novena. If it is for the greater honor and glory of God and for the good of our own souls, if, however, it is not God's will, secure for us whatever is most pleasing to Him, together with a great conformity to His holy will. Prayer for all days Most Holy Virgin of Peace and Good Voyage, will thus thou merit these two excellent titles, Exercise them in our favor to the greater honor and glory of God. Of 
obtain for us the peace which our blessed Son left in the custody of His apostles, a peace with which, pardoning our enemies the many offenses they have committed against us, we may love all our neighbors with true love and Christian charity. Obtain for us peace of heart and soul, so that our desires may not rebel against reason, or our reason against God. And while we are all travelers and strangers in this valley of tears, be thou our guide so that amid the many pitfalls which surround us and the many dangers which beset us, we may, by the observance of the divine commandments, be able to take the royal road that leads to glory. Free us from the snares of the devil, so that with thy protection we may be able in the hour of death to reach the happy end of our trouble and enjoy for eternity the glory of thy most sweet company, as also that of the Divine Son. Amen. Prayer for the Ninth Day Queen and Mistress of the Seraphim, who love God with the most ardent love, we beg of thee, O Virgin, that you obtain for us a strong and perfect love of thy Divine Son, with which, despising things temporal and vanishing, we may put trust in that which conduces to our eternal well-being. Grant us what we desire and ask for in this novena, if it is for the greater honor and glory of God and for the good of our own souls. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage O Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, Virgin of Antipolo, look kindly upon the needs of your children as we journey to our home in heaven. For you, O Mother, know full well what it is to travel on the road. From that room in Nazareth, where you received the joyful news from the angel Gabriel, he taught us the generosity of a Christian obedience that surrenders and entrusts all to divine providence. In your journey to that stable in Bethlehem on that first Christmas night, you taught us how to treasure in our hearts the overwhelming graciousness of our Father. In your flight to Egypt with your newborn, you taught us the quiet courage that springs from a firm faith in God, even in the face of great danger and suffering. In that sorrowful climb up to Calvary on that fateful Friday afternoon, you taught us how a human love can rise to greater heights by self-giving and forgiveness when transformed and united to ineffable divine love. O oh Mother, you give us so much hope and encouragement by your example of filial love and discipleship. As you accompanied Christ in your journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, from Egypt to Galilee, 
and finally to Calvary. You discover the loving presence of God in ever new ways. O Mother, as we undertake our own journey on this road, accompany us in our discovery of God in our lives and in the lives of other people. Make us see with the eyes of our hearts and help us to know Him and to grow deeper in His love through life's joys and pains. And at our journey's end, lead us to the doorsteps of heaven and bring us to your Son Jesus, who has secured and prepared for us a place in our Father's home.
Maria Bella Estrella de Antipolo, en canto del Señor, te aclama nuestra voz. En Filipinas reina manden ella y en cada corazón cantos de triunfo y lor. Oh Filipinos, no ceses de entonar a la que trajo Dios, que es nuestra reina, a ella sin fin rendir fidelidad.